It's been the blink of an eye since I started working. My name is Toma Kuroda. I'm 29 years old as an insignificant employee. Ah, so receptions. I know, it's pretty tough waking up and going to work. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're lucky if you can sit down in the morning like this. Wait. Ah, it's just big. I see. We can keep staring, but nothing is gonna happen. Huh? I had a cockacus beetle on my shoulder? What? Oh, wait, hang on. It's just a silverfish. Oh, man. What a lame -o. I thought it was a beetle. Next up is Inabayama Station. Oh. Oh, hey. Uh, she doesn't like me. I work at Mori Mori Hanbei Traders. I used to work as a salesman for health goods, but now we just do whatever and sell anything. I'm just glad I'm not getting fired. Toroto-san, um... Ah, uh, you done goofed, huh? Yeah, I kind of made him his order. You were supposed to have ordered 10 overseas supplements, but you ordered 100 by mistake, huh? All right, we can buy them and use them up then. Are you sure? Let's get healthy together. The second you get promoted, you've got to save me, though, all right? <laughs> I heard someone said misorder. Ah! Oh, my bad. It was my fault, sir. You again, Kuroto-kun. Stop dragging us down. Go do something that a grunt can do if you can't handle it. Sorry about that. Also, uh, here are your project documents. <laughs> hmm? It's not that bad, huh? I'll go ahead and brush up these documents for presentation. Tetsuoko Section Chief. He's 33 and started working at our company about four years ago. He quickly got promoted and is my boss at the moment. He's great at his job, but he's also the kind of man that steals credit from other people as well. Man, I'm going to a magical meeting for meeting with others. Oh, a matchmaking party? Yeah, with one of the CEO's daughters and her friends. Things are looking up for you, huh? Which means that you're going to have to do more work. Sorry, I'll bring you back some leftovers if there are any from the food as a souvenir. You're just one of the leftovers to our company anyway. Yeah, I was actually going to go home and buy some pickles too. I knew you'd buy some salty food on the way home. Whatever, thanks. <laughs> Man, I used to look at this when I was young and declare that I could quit whenever I wanted to. Now I know that there's no way that I could find a new place to work at my age. I'm gonna seal it and put it away forever. The next morning. Ow! Something came flying up my face and I caught it too. It's a button. Where'd it come from? Oh. D did you look... You like a mature black, huh? I didn't see that. I didn't see a surprising black. You totally did look! Please don't scream like Michael Jackson around me! No one else noticed! Uh, I mean, it's my fault. Um, sorry. Should I be thanking you or something? You're still looking? Uh, help me then! I don't want everyone else to find out. I see. You can sit next to me then. Ah, I, I see. No one will find out if I'm right next to you. I was just joking. Uh, everyone around me is glaring at me. I'm so sorry. Um, you clung on to me and... Ah, so sorry. That was a little too erotic, right? No, um, you've got more problems. There are three more buttons missing. Uh huh. Here, it kind of smells like old people, but. Are, are you sure? Please make it smell like a young girl and return it to me. Uh huh. That's kind of weird. But thanks anyway. Chick. Crap, I'm going to be late. Yeah, me too. And I have a meeting today. <laughs> You're already 30, right? You're really going to show up to the meeting where everyone is working hard and suited up without a suit? 
You understand what it looks like on my end too, right? I'm sorry, but my jacket was sacrificed. Your excuse makes no sense! You don't need to go to the meeting with us, just do grunt work! Sure. Uh, I'm finally done. Man, I just gotta look at my old paper to return to my olden days. Oh, I'm gonna wear the spare suit that cost me like a hundred dollars tomorrow. Oh. We see each other often. Good morning. Ah! Ah, why? I bought a new blouse! D d did you see? I saw the red seeing through the crack even when it wasn't snapped. It's known to send a bull into a wild frenzy. You were wearing the surprising black yesterday and a passionate red today. Uh -huh, you're definitely looking. Thank the heavens. You even prayed. Yeah, I've been blessed with something wonderful. You are a poster girl. You knew about that? I'm more surprised that you know about me, though. There's so many hundreds of employees in our company. Akane Takanaka. She's a 22-year-old new grade receptionist. There were rumors going around everywhere that a beautiful girl started working as a receptionist. She's got a cool attitude and a banging body along with a cute face. She's super popular, clearly. Please, take responsibility. Huh? Responsibility? It's the first time a man saw my underwear. You took my first time. It's an accident. I'm so disappointed. You know an accidental kiss is still a kiss. Uh, you're one of those where you don't count it, huh? You're a failure of a Prince Charming. You read too many romance mangas. If you accidentally kiss some old guy as a new grad, that's a lawsuit waiting to happen. <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> She's laughing like that with a maniacal laugh. My life is screwed as an adult when I get to the station. I knew it! This, this is more because I'm just shy. Please hang on. It's so soft, and you want me to hang on? That's difficult. Yeah, <sighs> You're having fun with this, aren't you? No, wait, hang on here. Uh, wh what? Um, I feel like you've got the wrong size on your blouses. Uh-huh. You're very knowledgeable about my boobs. No, I just sense a dangerous situation about here. Then, you gotta follow me after work. Huh? Responsibility. Ugh, fine. Karate-kun! Sorry, I really can't work late today. I haven't said anything yet. I'm not letting you go, Kuroda-san. Well, why are you coming here? So, sir, please excuse me. Why the hell is she... I was after her first. I was dragged to a private room at an expensive bar or something. I know this scene. It's where the lawyer shows up. Here's your jacket back. Oh, all this just for that? Uh, I thought you were going to... What is this? <laughs> I thought that's what it was going to be about. I'm screwed. I can't believe that you decided that this is what you wanted to do. You really trusted me to watch over everything, huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, I was able to see a wonderful view of your bra. Twice, actually. Ah, uh, you, you're not supposed to say that out loud. You've gone too far. What do you mean? If we get married, you can look all you want. I see. Uh, there are people in the world who are very happy. All the bras you want. I can prepare seven different bras in one week. It's like a new subscription. I can't believe you'd let me handle your life as an adult. Now I can kick away all the matchmaking sessions. Let's have us a great fake marriage, Kuroda-san. Uh, I, I mean, Toma-san. I was a lucky man. I'm sorry, I don't understand what's going on. Akane-san was the CEO's only daughter. 
I was thinking about how she had the same last name as our CEO, but yeah, related. Apparently, she keeps getting pushed into matchmaking sessions, so she wants to pretend to be married to kick him away. I've already told my father about this yesterday. What have you done? I said that you've even prepared a letter of resignation for me. That's how serious you are. My father was crying, too. What have I done? Dad! I heard everything. I'm Hampai Takenaka. This is the first time I've actually ever seen you in person. I don't go to the entrance ceremonies. They're too long. I don't like to be messed with, so I always have someone else write up my email. So I don't know anyone unless you're an executive. Hampei Takenaka, CEO. He apparently has the same name as a very famous and well-known war general back in the day. He is an incredible man who brought this company to where it is in one generation. Um... What is it, Mr. Groom? Um, let's leave that to the side for a second. I'm sorry, but, uh, do people say you look like someone? Totally. My father named me something completely opposite from what I actually am, so I've been teased all through kindergarten. You might actually be an actor? I know that, too. I wash my face every morning and wonder if I should be on TV or something. Also, I've never been sick in my life. Your name sounds like you'd be sickly, but you look very, very healthy. What the heck, <laughs> you stupid kid? You're definitely someone that's on TV all the time. You've got courage, kid. I like you even more. I can see how Akane-chan would fall for you. Dad, I haven't fallen for him. It's a fake marriage, you dummy. You heard her. Akane-chan has always been so glamorous and beautiful from a young age. Men just keep coming around her, so she turned out to hate men. I was worried, so I thought she found someone good. Are you talking about me? Don't be so full of it, you idiot. Yes, you. I haven't even been able to do her laundry from when she was in elementary school. But you saw it twice. I'm jealous. Yeah, he saw twice. It's called responsibility. Responsibility. You two are alike, huh? I don't know if a lame guy like me should be with someone as good as her. What the hell? You're a little crazy fool, huh? Tomashan. Sorry, that was a little bit of honesty. I really like that. Take good care of that honesty. Uh, first, let's start off by living together. There was a castle next to my castle, just like the old general. You know, I really don't understand what's going on. All right, so basically, I'm just going to be there till she gets tired of this old guy. I never will. So you're going to be with me forever. You're actually a lot more aggressive than me. Oh, just so you know, I'm not going to just give her away. You've got to leave the number, so I'm not going to let you marry her. I'm totally fine without putting in any papers. I don't know if I can keep up with these two. Starting the next day, I started living in a castle. A month later, Saturday morning at Tomura Nakane's castle. Good morning! Come on! I want you to be more 50s. You need to say yo or hey. Uh, I really can't say things like that anymore, Akane-san. Yes, I'm your Akane-san. Or are you wearing a tank top that is the right size, but you can't choose the right size blouse? Uh, uh, you really don't understand a thing, Tomasan. You can't fit into tank tops. But blouses, they're tough to size up. Look at this freedom. I wish I could go to work like this. People would freak out. How about you uh, buy a bigger blouse? Uh, Tomasan. The brands that I like don't have the boob size for me. Look at this! I get it, okay? Put away those wonderful things! I can't! Let's eat! I'll even come with you as a set right now. That's a little too much of a value set for the morning. I've heard everything. Go home! 
sir, you can't invite me over and then have this happen. I think I might catch a cold for the first time in my life. I have a report, sir. Our corporate secrets have been getting leaked like crazy from our department. Huh? I mean, I said show me the numbers, but you already found corruption in our company? And it's a very serious thing, too. What happened to our company's compliance policies? I've already gathered evidence for everything against the people who are working against us. The groom keeps making incredible moves. It's terrifying. I'm so glad that he's working so hard to get permission to marry me. I mean, I've been working in the office for so long. It's easy to gather information when all you're doing is grunt work. I checked your job, but you've been an incredibly great kid. That's working under a horrible boss, right? He's just taking all your credit. Why don't you ever call him out on it? Huh? Because I didn't want the whole atmosphere in the office to get all weird? That's so humble. But that's not a good thing. You need to say something. You're gonna be missing out on so many chances. You could not let those get away with their wrongdoings. Hey, why didn't you notice at all, Dad? You're the CEO. Why are you acting so smart and amazing? I'm so sorry. You are right about me not working hard enough. I will continue to work hard as well, sir. Very well. Come on, Dad. Let's eat together. You're okay with it? After you finish eating, leave, okay? We are going to hang out together at home. Finish your meal in two minutes. Hmm. <laughs> My daughter is moving away from me so quickly that I don't even have time to be upset. After lunch. Tomashan is completely defenseless. I'm not. I'm asleep, but I'm definitely not defenseless. I see. Excuse me. We're husband and wife, so I can jump you whenever, right? Um, have we already forgotten the story about how we're just to pretend husband and wife? Still a pretend? You just fall for me so fast. Ah, we're husband and wife now, so we're going to nap together. When she goes to work, though, she sharpens up and is a cool receptionist. She really is terrifying. Next week, work hours. I was okay with doing the bare minimum, but it was also partly my responsibility. So I need to listen to my orders of my father and help clean up the office a little bit. Sir? Ah? Huh? Oh, it's just you, Karoto-kun. I'm here too, though. Ah, uh, sir? This isn't what it looks like! Uh, damn it! Why is it all frozen up? Oh, sorry, I just kind of pulled out the cable. Damn it! I shouldn't have used a PC that has a busted Wi-Fi card for this long! Everyone, capture him! All right, you better get ready! How dare you go against that boss, head? So, uh, what shall we do? We like to cut the head off the snake boy yourself? Hey! Where did all these insane security guards come out of? Oh, they're my personal army. I mean, sorry, my secretaries. Sir, you were flirting with Akane-san over and over, weren't you? Yes, but so what? Please stop, she's my wife! He's not married, so she's totally allowed to be messed with. We're getting married, so this is pissing me off. Toma, Sean, you're finally into the idea of it. Father, why is Akane-san here? Huh, <laughs> you thought that I could control Akane-chan at all? You pricks are all flirty. Wait, my Wi-Fi is fixed. Screw it, I'm gonna just send all the data. You keep doing this kind of shit? And I'm gonna start getting really mad. You're already pretty mad, aren't you? You want me to break your finger? All right, fine, I give up. It's totally fine, because I haven't been able to do it yet. I know that you've already sent the data to the Saito group. It's already been found out. The legal department is already moving. I wanted solid proof, so... Damn it! Yeah, it's this guy! It's his fault for buying out the Saito group! Oh, I don't care about your stupid spiel that you're about to begin with like some kind of afternoon drama. 
I want to go home and flirt with my wife. Let me finish! He was fired immediately, of course. He went home to pick some wild flowers when he was bit by a wild snake and ended up in the hospital. I got home to my castle when there was a disco ball on the roof of the bedroom. What is this? Akane-san? She's not here? You've been caught with your pants down, Tomasan. I've changed already. Hiya! Ah! <laughs> These are my boobs, just as you've requested. Hang on, I did say that I wanted to make you my wife, but I didn't ask for your boobs. Uh, wrong answer. They're going away now. You don't need to put him away. You already pulled him out. Ah. <laughs> You're finally saying about how you want to see my boobs, huh? Damn it. Well, yeah, I'm gonna be 30 in a month. If a young, cute girl is coming on to me like this, of course I'm gonna fall for you, too. Yeah. You're so loud, Tomasan. Louder than I've ever heard before. You remember? Mm, probably not. Ugh, you are that kind of person. When I was in the train and my boobs were, well, standing out, it was pretty painful, you know, but you always came up to the same train cart as me and did something weird to help me out. Oh, yeah. When the young boy was being all young and horny to a young girl, and that pissed me off for some reason. That's it? I'm kidding. I mean, you should help someone if they need help right next to you, right? It's normal. I like that so much about you. It's not normal at all. It's special. Wow, there's so much pressure. This time, we're real husband and wife, so I don't need to hold back, right? It's time for the nightly reception. You can have all of me and do whatever you want with any of me. Half a year later, I told my wife, why didn't you just stop taking the train to work? And she just stared at me after saying, huh. I said, if you didn't, I guess we never would have met, though. And she smiled. I want to protect this smile for the rest of my life.